having natural hair is a journey like at the end of the day you don't do anything 100 percent perfectly all the time so like we don't have the best outfits on all the time our skin is not a hundred percent all the time like there's just shit that we fuck up sometimes and you know part of living with anxiety is understanding that fuck ups are gonna happen and when they do you just kind of have to adjust and move on like you can't spend your whole life upset because you fucked up what's poppin baby she's and baby and i'll be back for another hair video i haven't talked in a hair video in a long time so i'm really gonna do my best to try to talk and give y'all like something i had one subscriber i can't remember your name but just know that i really appreciate you suggesting some content and for all the rest of you guys you can always comment and let me know what content you want me to create you can also dm me on either of my instagrams and let me know what content you want me to create so shout out to the subscriber who wanted a flat tips tutorial as you can see my hair is thick and like needs to be tamed so i'm going to flat twist my whole head down because i don't know how to cornrow and then i'm going to um put on my wig if you guys are interested in that definitely stick around thank you so so much for enjoying my natural hair videos if you are not a big natural hair video fan i have other playlists on my channel including makeup for beginners and i also have vlogs and business entrepreneurship videos so make sure you go check out any of those videos if this isn't the content that you're looking for i actually just got a text and i have somewhere to be in the next 50 minutes so I am just going to go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do and then speed the video through. So I actually washed my hair yesterday. So my hair has all the stuff in it that it needs for success already. So I'm just kind of refreshing the products with that water that I just sprayed. And now I'm going to go in and comb out the ends of my hair. Update on my heat damage. Okay, so as I was saying, like my heat damage has been coming along. I heat damaged my hair about two months ago. This is all the hair that came out from detangling. But yeah, I heat damaged my hair about two months ago. And um, it's been trying to grow back. It's been a slow and steady process. My hair grows fast, but I did have to cut off um, about three to four inches off the ends in the back of my hair. My hair grows fast. I tell me that all the time. Um, so I'm not really like upset at the fact that I had to cut my hair. I'm upset at the fact that I had to cut my hair because I'm trying to retain my length this time around and I just keep fucking it up. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is take a very little bit of my Eco Styler Gel on my fingertip just to kind of brush or like lay the hair that I'm working with down at the root. I don't know if you can see this. And I don't think my parts are straight, but again, they the parts don't matter for this hairstyle because I'm just twisting my hair down so that I can put my wig on. So like part and all that stuff doesn't matter. So now what you wanna do is you wanna separate the hair at the beginning of the flat twist. So you have part of the hair up here and part of the hair down here. And what you want to do is twist it and then you're going to come in and grab more of the hair and do another twist. And then you want to grab this next little piece of hair that's coming up and do the same thing. So you want to continue to grab hair from the top of the twist as you go back. And you want to make sure you're still getting the hair under. So like when you go to grab you want to grab the hair that's down here the loose hair that's coming up down here and then you want to reach all the way up to grab whatever hair is loose at the top as well and then when you get down and you've connected it all the way on your scalp you just want to comb out the ends add another little fingertip of gel and just twist down the hair and these are not going to be perfect like I these these flat twists are specifically for putting on a wig like you don't want to go out with your hair looking like this because again the parts are not going to be straight but 
I can make another video some other time using um, different hair products, like maybe a braiding butter um, and smaller sections, et cetera, et cetera, to make it cuter as just like a hairstyle to wear out. But if you're just trying to put your hair down and you don't know how to braid, and you don't know how to cornrow, this is the best way to go. You know, just bear with me as far as these parts go. So like, as you can see, like I still have some, some bad heat damage and I'm not gonna be cutting that off because it's so uneven. The way my hair got messed up was so uneven. So there's no point in trying to make it all, you know, have no heat damage in it right now. But when the time comes, I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get a haircut probably. Anyway, so I'm slicking down my flat twist section. And again, you don't want to put too much gel, especially if you have fine hair like myself, because the gel is just going to make your hair curl up. And that's not really what you're going for. So when you're on your edges, so like my edges go in, like I lay my edges for my wig. So like that's the part of my hair that's usually swooped. So what I do is I try to get as close to that as possible to start my flat twist. I'll probably slow motion and zoom in. That'll probably be the best way. It's like moments like this where I realized that I really did fuck everything up because this hair was would be down here. This is how much hair I cut off. Like I cut off like that much hair. So I would be at titty length, which is the first time I've been at titty length since childhood, essentially. So like I'm kind of blown with myself for that purpose, but like not for any other reason. Having natural hair is a journey like at the end of the day you don't do anything 100 percent perfectly all the time so like we don't have the best outfits on all the time our skin is not a hundred percent all the time like there's just shit that we fuck up sometimes and you know part of living with anxiety is understanding that fuck ups are gonna happen and when they do you just kind of have to adjust and move on like you can't spend your whole life upset because you fucked up. So that's kind of the approach I'm taking with my natural hair. Like I haven't been bringing you guys that many videos just because I've never heat damaged my hair this bad before and I've been kind of at a loss <laughs> for what the hell I'm supposed to be doing with my hair. And I did have to take like a time period where I put my hair through like a really intense like boot camp kind of to get it shit together. Like I wasn't touching it or doing anything really with it except wearing it in low buns. So that's a heat damage tip. Like when you've damaged your natural hair at all in any way, shape or form, the less you do to it, the better it's gonna be. So, and the quicker it'll get back to normal. Make them as tight as you possibly can, especially when you're starting the twist at your hairline um because when you're flat twisting to wear a wig the thing about twists that's different from cornrows is that they will blow up like they puff up so the cornrows is pulling the hair tight and 
from three different strands whereas the flat twist they can get as big as they want i'm gonna speed through do the rest of these and then probably come back for the very last one and yeah All right, y'all, so here we have the fin. So what I'm gonna do now is take the scrunchie that I've been using, pull the flat twist real, real tight at the bottom, at the nape of my neck, and I'll put this scrunchie in. And what I'm gonna do is roll my hair up like that so now this is what i'm working with in the back it's up to you whether you want to lay your edges now or not i probably will just for the sake of time and so if you're wearing your flat twist under your wig, you just want to kind of pull up all these extra hairs that could be looking a little fuzzy under your wig and just slide them into your parts. Just slide it back into your parts. And so, how your wig is parted will determine what this step looks like for you. The wig I'm putting on is a side part. So I'm really only laying the edges this knife because I'm about to leave the house real quick before I put my wig on. But yeah. So now your flat twists are done. You do not have to cornrow to put your wig on and you are ready for success. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Let me know if you guys want any other natural hair content that I haven't created yet that you guys are kind of waiting on. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Love you. Bye.